Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment on this video saying I subscribed. Let's get into it. Boeing, world's largest aerospace company, had entered into an agreement with Hindustan Aeronautics Limited and Mohindra Defence Systems to manufacture its F-18 Super Hornet in India. The three companies today exchanged a memorandum of agreement for the Make in India fighter jet at the ongoing Defence Expo 2018. The discussions on the agreement have been going on for the last 18 months, and the intent for the strategic partnership is to produce Make in India aircraft. The president of Boeing India said in a statement that a joint venture company would be floated over the next few months, and he also added that investments under the agreement will be huge. The Super Hornet aircraft does not only have a low acquisition cost, but it also costs less per flight hour to operate. Lockheed Martin has already offered to shift its F-16 manufacturing facility to India, and now the American defense major is also prepared to transfer the technology of its third-generation Javelin systems to India for its future manufacturing. Lockheed Martin has got the US government's permission to transfer its high-degree technology to its partners in India, for the development of the Javelin system, that has a range of up to 4 kilometers. Ajit Doval, India's national security advisor, will be traveling to Moscow, in a bid to reassure Russia, that the ties between the two countries are important to India, and Russia remains its main defense and security partner. He will also meet his Russian counterpart Nikolai Patrushev. India is keen on signing a commercial contract for acquiring a submarine for approximately $2 billion, which will be modernized to meet the needs of Indian Navy. The deputy director of the Russian Federal Service for Military Technical Cooperation has said that Russia has invited India to jointly design and build a new submarine class on the basis of Project 1650, which is one of the latest Russian submarine designs. The proposal is for joint design and development of the submarine and its subsequent construction at the Indian shipyards in accordance with the Make in India initiative. The Indian Navy had declared the intention to acquire six such submarines back in 2006, and these submarines are fitted with caliber systems and have air-independent propulsion systems. <laughs> Kenneth Juster, the US envoy to India has said that the US is ready to transfer critical defense technologies to India that the US was yet to share with any other country. The US would transfer critical defense technology to India and conduct tri-service exercises with the Indian Armed Forces as part of a 2 plus 2 meeting that is likely to take place in May 2018. The RDO has handed over three indigenous technologies to the Indian Navy, including the first indigenously developed heavyweight torpedo. The RDO also transferred 10 technologies to the defense industry for the production for Indian Armed Forces. The Indian Army's proposed artillery procurement program is valued at about 50,000 crore rupees over a period of 15 years, and for the first time, the indigenous systems are expected to enter the competition with strong capabilities. Indian Army needs 4,000 such systems, and each indigenous system will cost about 15 crore rupees, but if the systems are imported, it will cost 48 crore rupees per system. Oh, my